Officials say three gunmen opened fire with automatic rifles and a rocket launcher inside the Charlie Hebdo offices. The suspects remain at large. Magazine director Stéphane Charbonnier, at least three cartoonists and two police officers were killed. President Francois Hollande denounced the shootings as a terrorist attack, and France has raised its terrorism alert to its highest level. La France, uh France is in shock over this terrorist attack, for there is no doubt this is a terrorist attack on a newspaper that had been threatened several times and was justifiably under protection. President Hollande publicly defended the media after the massacre, saying no act of barbarity will ever extinguish the freedom of the press. Known for its irreverent tone, the left-wing magazine frequently comments on religion and culture, Charlie Hebdo published a satirical cartoon Wednesday on social media depicting Islamic State leader Abdu Bakr al-Baghdadi as a New Year well-wisher. Speaking to Parliament Wednesday, British Prime Minister David Cameron swiftly condemned the attack. Mr. Speaker, I'm sure the whole House will want to, want to join me in condemning the barbaric attack this morning on an office of a magazine in Paris in which it's reported that 10 or more people may have been killed. While details are still unclear, I know that this House and this country stands united with the French people in our opposition to all forms of terrorism, and we stand squarely for free speech and democracy. And these people will never be able to take us off those values. In Washington, White House Press Secretary Josh Earnest called the incident an attack on some of the basic values we hold dear in this country. A statement from President Barack Obama offered condolences to the victims, adding the United States will provide any assistance needed to help bring these terrorists to justice. Jeff Custer, VOA News.